the Tasman region is just about as picture postcard as New Zealand gets. Rolling hills, acres and acres of vineyards producing stunning wines, and rivers and coastlines that are among the most beautiful anywhere in the world. One of these is Mochueka's Natimoti stream. The Mochueka Valley is one of the Tasman district's prime productive land areas, but the value of the Natimoti stream is reflected in much more than the economics. The Natimoti shapes the land and shapes the people around it. Since 2002, we've been an enviro school, which means that we've had student leaders who have been problem solvers around our community. And one of the big problems that was identified early on was the stream that's close by to the school and the health of the river in general. Some of the activities that we've done to date include water quality monitoring, checking for sediments and things. Lots of the activities have been around the critters that live in the stream. It's always a fun part of the learning. Some of the outcomes for the students here and the school community have to be about the connections we've made. As well, of course, there's all the specific learning, so children learning about ecosystems and protecting the environment. And I really do believe that the kids value that we stream. It's their stream and they're really proud of the efforts down there. We've planted flaxes and native bush and trees along the edge of the stream so it'll, once the roots are big enough it'll stop eroding and it won't get so murky and then that won't go into the Mott River. I think we've made a big difference because when I first came here there was heaps of weeds and it wasn't flowing as well as, as it is now. The best thing about um, looking after a stream is watching everything grow and watching how everything changes for the better. I've seen a lot of difference with, with all the wildlife coming back and just the plants are growing quite a lot. Another benefit of that planting is it provides that corridor. So not corridor just for fish and insects in the stream but a corridor for birds and you start to get things coming back into here like the local geckos, uh, the trees provide habitat for the likes of weta. So it provides a, a much richer or a much more diverse habitat. What we want to do is have sites like this as demonstration areas where people can see actually we can do that, we can do that on our own spot and then when we start to connect up all of these little bits together we get a much richer environment, we offer much more opportunity for our, our birds and our fish to have good habitat but also each little bit provides a slightly better water quality into our main stem. But if we can look after our little streams, we look after our big streams. And this is all community driven. So this is not anybody saying you must, this is community saying we want to. And that's really where the drive has to come from. The project to maintain and even improve the quality of the river and the surrounding area is one that is precious to the local community. It's a chance for people to retain a resource and make a difference and it's a leading example of what can be achieved by communities.